In this game, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Los Angeles Lakers at Staples Center. With Doris Burke, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. And with us tonight, an icon on the court, in the studio, and here at the broadcast table. How about that for an introduction, Candace Parker? <laughs> Thank you. I hope I live up to this intro, guys. And let's take a look at Boston's starting lineup. We've got Rajon Rondo, and it's Davis in at the five, roaming the paint. And for the Lakers. Tip-off goes to the Lakers. Here's Fisher on the wing. Brian. Releases from the wing and drills it. What a terrific play by just a tremendous all-around player. This guy makes it look easy. It's Rondo on the take. Doesn't go that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. Here's Fisher. Great D that time from Rondo. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. That free throw, no good. He's off on the second. Now Los Angeles with it. Pass to Fisher. On the take. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Always helps to get these kinds of looks, right? Super easy to convert from that distance. All right, Candace, I know you grew up a Chicago Bulls fan. Who was your favorite player on those legendary Bulls teams not named Michael Jordan? Well, you know, I loved following the Bulls, especially in the 90s. That was when I fell in love with basketball. Um, but there was a guy named Ron Harper that I really enjoyed watching. I think that he was a huge piece in their championship run. And, um, you know, before he joined the Bulls, he used to give number 23 a, a couple battles when he was with the Cavs. I thought you might go with Dennis Rodman for a minute. That's a good one, too. And he drops the first. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. For Boston, they've gone one of three from the floor. Here's Rondo. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The first free throw is good. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The Lakers have gone two of four so far. Here's Odom. Offline with a three. Rondo with it. Now guarded by Bryant. Allen, a pass to Davis. Back to Allen. And he lobs it up. Oh, what a perfect pass to set that up. Hey, the feed might have been pretty, but the finish, that was angry. Here's Odom. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Uses the glass on the layup. Well, defensively, to me, you've got to do a better job communicating once the screen comes. Boston trailing. Well, you think about how important bench play is in the modern game. Candace, how big of a boost is it for a starter when the bench plays well? When the bench comes in and raises the level of play, it definitely makes your job easier. When you have a bench that you can depend on, a team that plays against the starters constantly in practice to make them better. It just makes the overall team and the energy go up. Mm, can certainly add to the depth and buy some quality rest. Here's Rondo. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago. 
Pass to Davis. It's intercepted. Inside. Puts it up from 12. No good. Off the front rim. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Allen on the wing. Here's Pierce. Down low. Here's Davis. Powell pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Pass to Bryant. To the paint. Here's Fisher. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. He has six. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Here's Rondo. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. And let's take a moment here to get your take, guys, on the scoring so far for the Lakers. You've got to like the consistency with which they're hitting that mid-range jumper so far. Well, they've established their presence in the paint tonight also. And a lot of their scoring coming from down low so far. All right, Candace, you grew up on video games. Tell me what it means to you to be the first female basketball player on an NBA 2K cover. You know, I think growing up, you dream of having your jersey, you dream of having your own shoe, and you dream of being on the cover of NBA 2K. Um, honestly, this is a dream come true. I think the kid in me is so excited. Uh, I know I'm the first, but I hope I'm the first of many, many more women to come. Certainly a trailblazer. And the Lakers with possession here. The Celtics making their last shot. Now that's how you capitalize on a screen. Yeah, good positioning, too. Gave him a clear path to the hoop. Where was the defense? No fighting through the pick. No rotation. My goodness. All right, defensively now, you've got to find a way to slow this guy down because he's putting it to you. Here's Slim. Here's Powell. And he can't get that one. Pass to Rondo. Now Allen. Here's Perkins. Powell covers to the middle. Rondo gets the bucket. Rondo, he's got nine points. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Now here's Powell. Here's Slim. Cans it from short range. That's three buckets in a row off assist. The Celtics have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Well, people talk about the particular challenges of being a WNBA player. Travel comes up a lot, Candace. How much of those conditions improved since you came into the league? Well, B.I., are we talking about traveling? Because they allow the NBA to travel. Or are we talking about traveling on an airplane? I'm, I'm a little confused. <laughs> you know, we're talking about travel from one city to the next. Okay. I mean, it could be better. But, um, you know, the NBA in the 80s, early 90s, time out, time out. commercial, you know, it's a part of it. Uh, we got to continue to grow our game. And hopefully at some point we'll be able to get those private PJs. And the Lakers call time here. And now let's glance at the league's most aggressive defensive teams from last year. The Lakers in second. They made life hard on opponents. One of the best defenses in the NBA last year. To the inside. Here's Slim. Nice D from Allen. The Celtics have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Here's Pierce. Powell pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Bryant outside. Rebound Boston. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Back to Allen. Tipped away. To the middle. Here's Perkins. Off with the layup. The Lakers in the lead. To the right side. Here's Slim. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. Outstanding pass on time and on target. The Celtics shooting about 43% since tip-off. Pass to Pierce. 
Now here's Allen. Here's Perkins. That shot is off. Oh, great D that time from Powell. And for the Lakers, they're shooting about 47% during this first quarter. Here's Slim. And he banks in the layup. And it's a seven-point Los Angeles lead. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. And an absolute brutal showing from the line so far. First free throw is good. So both free throws good from Allen. 26 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Slim. Allen defending. Slim misses. Allen on the wing. Pass to Garnett. Allen with it. To the paint. Here's Perkins. He's off on the layup. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. Lakers ahead. They lead by five. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Give it up for their D. They're battling, communicating, and coming up with key stops. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Well, some time now has passed since the WNBA bubble, Candace. Looking back at that time, what stands out the most to you? Well, for the last six or seven months, we weren't allowed to say bubble in my household. Um, it was a unique experience, one that I am very happy to have been a part of. Um, just in terms of what that season meant to the WNBA and just in sports and social justice and everything that the country was going through at the time. So to be a part of that was great, but just one time, B.A., not again. Well, the WNBA crowned the champion, and maybe most importantly, as always, a leader in the social justice movement. And we may have an injury here. That does not look good. Oh, man, that's tough. You just never like to see this in sports. No, obviously something that, you know, every player fears. The NBA has made player safety a priority, but injuries continue to happen. Allen, he's checked in for Boston. And for the Lakers, they're shooting at a decent clip, 45% for the game. Here's Walton, looking for his first basket still in this one. Slim, it's rebounded by Pierce. Boston trailing. And here's Rondo. Now Los Angeles with it. Hey, get Kobe! And we played through the first minute here in the second. Here's Slim. Checked by Rondo. Here's Walton. And he jams it home with authority. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Bryant. He had the right idea, just couldn't come up with the swipe. Yeah, the anticipation was there. The hustle was there. Very close to picking that one. Bryant against Allen. Back to Rondo. Out to the right wing. Here's Pierce. Again, the miss by the Celtics. The Lakers have gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. B.A., the Boston Celtics last year had the team's worst win percentage in the last six seasons. The front office admitted, as constituted, they were not a championship-caliber team. Now, for this proud franchise, accustomed to competing deep into the playoffs, the question becomes, how do they get back on top? Yeah, that's a big one. Good stuff there, Allie. Thanks. Well, Candace, your versatility as a player is just tremendous. Let's talk about the parts of the game uh, that took a little work, though. I know there were parts of your game that came easy to you, but what about those aspects of your game that you had to really focus on and work on and improve as you became a professional? Believe it or not, um, defense. That has been um, just in terms of just staying 
steps ahead. I think defense takes a lot of IQ. It takes a lot of, you know, being ahead of the play before it happens, being in the right position. So I think defensively is something that players underestimate the value of. All right, time for an injury report. Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer for Los Angeles let me know the status. He said there's a bit of weakness in the wrist area, but so far no sign of any broken bones. He's not returning tonight. Shouldn't be out too long, but we'll see. Guys, back to you. All right, Allie, thanks. Appreciate the update. Obviously, guys, you hate to see an injury like this. Yeah, just so tough. It comes with the territory of being a professional athlete. But yes, here's hoping he recovers soon. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. And the Celtics call time here. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. It's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. Both teams deciding to change it up. Three minutes of action thus far on the second. Allen drives. Oh, a beautiful reverse layup. Allen's got six points. Well, Candace, one area where the WNBA has dominated the NBA, free throw percentage. Yes. Um, you know, I think that it definitely comes down to our bigs being able to stretch the floor. I don't know whether that has anything to do with playing overseas, but practice a lot of free throws during our career. Pass to Allen. Outside for Davis. Inside. Allen, the pass to Allen. Shots blocked. Bryant with it. Picked up by Allen. Here's Odom. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Here's Slim. Down low. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, good whistle there. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second free throw. The Celtics have gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Well, Candace, this is a question I'm sure you've heard before. But growing up, was there a player or players who you patterned your game after? Well, honestly, I was the biggest Allen Iverson fan. So I was the, you know, the center that was going out on the game, trying to throw passes like AI, trying to dribble and get that crossover. So I really loved watching AI growing up. And... C. Webb was another player. I loved his versatility. I loved his ability to get to the basket. Um, so I, I'd say it's those two. Nice. Here's Walton. The Celtics making their last shot. And Bryant gets it to go. Well, it looks like he has put that rough first quarter in the rear view. He's starting to cook here in the second. Out to the wing. Here's Scalabrini. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Slim. Allen defending. Pass to Powell. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Lakers lead by eight. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. On the wing, Davis. That's tipped. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot-blocking teams. Fifth, the Lakers. Well, an important element of their defense is the ability to intimidate. I mean, their stellar shot-blocking last year accomplished that in a big-time way. Pass to Powell. Here's Odom. Here's Slim. Clock at four. Corner shot. And that one's long. Out, out, out. 
Outside Davis. Back to Allen. Driving in. It's blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. So both teams changing it up here. Six on the shot clock. Here's Davis. Back to Allen. Pass to Davis. And they're pushing it up. Lots of room. Kept alive. Here's Odom. The three is up. And he missed again. Now one of five. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Here's Allen. Blocked. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Here's Rondo. Sweet little floater. Rondo, he's got 15. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Well, Candace, so happy you could be with us tonight. Thanks, as always, for your insights. Thanks so much, Brian. This is great. I'm looking forward to the next one. Slim with a bucket. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. And it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That'll be a second foul of the game. It's been a comedy of errors for them so far. They just can't hold on to the ball here in the first half. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Here's Slim. Check by Rondo. Slim misses. The Celtics have gotten 7 of 13 attempts to go here in the second. To the paint. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. There's 45 seconds left in the first half. Pass to Powell. Here's Slim. To the inside. Rondo with the steal. Inside. And it's going to be a three-second call. The Lakers have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Pass to Walton. Watch outside. Allen against Bryant. Here's Slim. Can't hit from in close. And so it's Los Angeles leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They Thanks a lot. I'm with Frank Vogel and coach. What's going to be critical in the second half to get this win? Yeah, it'll just be us. Okay, we got to go on the free throw line, keep him off the free throw line, make him make contested twos. We got to move the basketball offensively. Your expectations are always high defensively. Thank you, coach. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break. Ready for the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. Looking at the Lakers, Kenny, what was your impression? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Rajon Rondo with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. And for Boston, we've got Rajon Rondo. And it's Davis in at the center position. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. 
Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time, but it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber, really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> so both free throws, good from Allen. Here's Slim. On the wing, Brian. To the middle. Here's Slim. That one's good. And the assist to Bryant. Bryant's got four assists in the game. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Well, there is nothing better than catching a rhythm as early as possible. And boy, that's a terrific start right there. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Pass to Odom. Here's Slim. Checked by Rondo. Here's Walton. Six to shoot. Bryant, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. And here's Rondo. Here's Pierce. Covered by Bryant. Back to Rondo. It's stolen. Here's Slim. Checked by Rondo. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Powell right side. Pass to Slim. Five to shoot. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Allen. Here's Odom. No good on the quick three. And the shot's good. Give him eight points now. And guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Here's Rondo. Blocked! And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Puts it up off the inbound. Another shot. Powell pulls it in. Powell's got six rebounds in the game. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? How about the concentration on that assist? Changed his mind mid-shot and put the pass right on the money. Davis against Powell. Back to Davis. Here's Pierce. Clock at six. Rondo gets the bucket. Rondo, he's got 21. Yeah, just doing his part. Staying active and converting at a high rate. And he has really kept them in this one. The high effort level. Now the rest of the team has got to step up. Nails it from three. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. The Lakers have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. That shot off the mark. And Boston going the other way now. Pass to Rondo. And here's Davis. Powell covers. Davis can't hit. He's giving his all, but you can't force yourself back on track. Here's Slim. The rebound, Celtics. Rondo, he's got four rebounds now. Down low. Got a hand on it. And they get it back. It's picked off. And it's the Lakers on the break. And here's Bryant outside. Count it. That's his six field out, goal in 12 tries. All right, guys, let's get your Start. take on the hustle stats for Los Angeles. Their activity at the defensive end has been impressive. Attacking and coming away with steals. And you also have to give credit to them for their shot blocking. They've had a ton of rejections in this ballgame. Now a timeout called by Boston. It's simple. Turnovers mean you lose shot opportunities, and your opponent can get easy hoops. Both teams will make substitutions. 
The Celtics shooting only 30% in the third quarter. Pass to Perkins. Good, and it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo, he's got four assists now tonight. Los Angeles has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Last season, Draymond Green called out what he saw as a double standard. When players ask for trades, they're vilified. But teams can announce they're planning to trade a player and sit him on the bench in the meantime, and then it's taken in stride. Guys, he feels like it's disrespectful. Well, that's something to consider, Allie. Thanks. Good stuff. Pass to Bryant. Inside. Slim. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And the free throw, no good. Well, Grant, it seems like each year, play in the NBA becomes a little more wide open and a little less physical. Yeah, it's definitely changed, B.A., what you look for in a player today. Now, if you're overly aggressive, you always will be in foul trouble and of little use to your team. So being able to control your aggression is how you survive in today's game. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. To the paint. Oh. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Good hit, man. Good hit. Here's Slim. He's got 12. Pass to Bryant. And he lobs it up top, up high, and down it goes on the lob. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Fades away. The shot by Perkins, no good. Los Angeles shooting 52% from the floor so far. To the inside, here's Walton. It's tipped, and he recovers it. Here's Slim. And another shot. KG has always had tremendous instincts. Sends another one back the way it came. Pass to Rondo. To the middle. Here's Perkins. Good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo. He's got six assists now in the game. Timeout, timeout called. Timeout. The Lakers. You could really see his squad was losing Smart. steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. The Celtics making a switch here. A minute 35 left in the third quarter. Pass to Slim. Bryant outside. 18 feet out. And the basket good. A bank shot that time. Bryant's got eight points in the quarter. Just continuing to pile it on, refusing to let up. That is the competitiveness he brings to the table. Every night you're going to get great effort from him. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Bryant outside. And it's Perkins with a rebound. Boston trailing. Pass to Allen. Here's Perkins. Powell covers. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. And he makes a first. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. That one falls. So he hits both of them. 41 seconds left in the third. 
Here's Slim. Allen defending. Slim misses. Boston's shooting it well. Almost 50% from the floor. Pass to Pierce. To the wing. Right side. Here's Scalabrini. No good that time. Oh, great D that time from Powell. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong. And by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. Down low. Here's Perkins. And that one is hammered home. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Inside. Here's Walton. And a missed layup. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Well, when you win the battle of turnovers, you typically win the battle of possessions. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And now we take a listen in to a recent huddle from Frank Vogel. Play for each other, creators and receivers. Okay, share the ball. Here we go. Wanting everyone on the same page offensively. Frank Vogel saying to each man, do it for your teammates. Yeah, I like that he's promoting the spirit, the camaraderie between the guys. When they're working together, they're a lot harder to stop. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. Shot clock at six. Here's Slim. Rebounded by the Celtics. So the Celtics five right now. Pass to Rondo. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Rondo, he's got 10 points in just the second half. That pass had to be thrown not only in the right spot, but at the right time. To the paint. Here's Powell. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they're able to recover. Oh, he picked him clean. Now the Celtics on the move. Here's Allen. Allen. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First one falls for him. And the Celtics making a change here. Davis has checked in. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Bryan against Allen. The shot from 20 feet out, and it comes off the front of the rim. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. Outside for Davis. Outside. Rondo. Inside. And Davis gets it to go. Can't ask for a better look with the game in the balance. The Lakers have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. On the wing, Bryant. Allen defending. Here's Slim. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Lakers lead by three. Hey, if you give him room, he's going to score the ball. Rondo with it. Now guarded by Bryant. Two on one as they jump out on the break. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And the first one at the line is good. Allen, he's checked in for Boston. And that's good as he hits both shots. And for Boston, they're shooting around 51%. That's a good number. Now here's Rondo. He's guarded closely. Allen can't get it to go. The Lakers have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. And then Bryant with the dunk. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. It doesn't go for him. And the Celtics going the other way now. Here's Rondo. And it's blocked. To the middle. And then Bryant with the dunk. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. For Boston, they've gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. Here's Davis. Here's Rondo. He got a piece of it. Here's Slim. Checked by Davis. Davis. 
Here's Odom. Shoots over Allen. Odom can't hit. I'll tell you, despite his struggles at the offensive end, this team still finds themselves in control of the ball game. Pass to Rondo. Now here's Davis. Back to Rondo. Will it go? Deflected! The Lakers have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. The three ball. Here's Slim. And that one's good. A time nice out, job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. <laughs> and attacking a somewhat helpless defense right now. Just a relentless effort. Well, you love that there's no let up in how they're playing. They want to dominate every aspect, including second chance points. And Boston calls time here. And this short amount of time should be beneficial to these players to catch their breath a little bit, while at the same time replenishing their energy by drinking some Gatorade as we head into the final stretch of this game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. He really got into them, saying, quote, you guys aren't playing hard enough. Forget the X's and O's. We need to play with passion. Let's just see that for the last part of this game. Guys? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Here's Walton with the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And the Lakers lead by 13. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. Boston's shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. Here's Rondo. And the basket is good. Rondo, he's got 12 points in just the second half. I'll tell you, individually, he is doing all he can. But right now, somebody's got to step in and support this guy. Bryant on the drive. Oh! 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 And down it goes. Jam that one home. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Ooh, what a dunk, B.A. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Scalabrini. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. The first one falls. And the Lakers making a change here. He's perfect from the line this time. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 16-4 run. Here's Bryant, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. Bryant's got eight here in this quarter. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. It's stolen away, and it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. Oh, picked up his fourth foul. Maybe have to scale back his aggressiveness with plenty of time left in this one. Here's Slim. Checked by Rondo. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. Now Bryant, pass to Slim. Here's Walton. Tries to break his ice. Odom can't hit. Here's Allen. Again, the miss by the Celtics. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on an 18-4 run. Pass to Walton. Right wing. Here's Slim. Allen defending. Slim misses. And for the Celtics, they're shooting the ball at 46% from the floor. To the inside. Rondo. Tipped. And it's going to be on Rajon Rondo. That's his fifth foul. The Lakers making a switch here. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. If things are definitely working offensively, a balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. 
and this one hasn't been in doubt for a bit now. They came out on a mission, and you can bag up this win for the Lakers. It's impressive how the reserve players stepped up and delivered in this one. They didn't just help out. They made a big impact and really secured the win for their team. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. They were well prepared coming in and showed a real competitive streak. Here's Rondo. Second chance effort. Blocked! And they'll keep possession. 51 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Slim. Checked by Davis. 13 feet out. And that's off the glass and in. You got to give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Well, just terrific teamwork. Each guy doing his part. You love what you're seeing from them tonight. Back to Davis. Uneasy, too, on the layup. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. With the floater, slam with a bucket. And the Lakers lead by 19. With very little left on the clock, they've got a comfortable lead, and the fans are loving it. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Here's Davis. And it's rejected. Here's Slim. So we see the Lakers taking the W here. They didn't have too many problems tonight. They didn't. Just a tremendous team effort. Once they had that big lead, they were not going to let the visitors back into the game. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, and all of our crew, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.